Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, at Bullets for Life here, and we're back on the uh, F-250 again. Okay guys, so uh, things have happened since March of this year after my birthday and when I purchased the vehicle. Um, it's been a project truck and boy it hasn't been a project because, uh, you know, getting the brakes and all that done. Uh, I had to add a new carburetor to it. Right now I just uh, ordered a um, heater core for the heater. And the heater assembly has been disassembled, and it's in the garage right now. Also, uh, the instrument cluster was not, the lights were not working, or the gauge weren't working, and I didn't know why. Uh, so I started on screwing the uh, instrument panel, and it turned into sawdust. Basically, it just crumbled in my hands. And so I had to go on Evil Bay and order a new one. And 150 bucks. And then uh, the heater core plus tax with $39 at O'Reilly's. So uh, we've got that project going right now. So uh, what we're gonna do now is go ahead and just start the engine up, warming up a little bit, because I started out like once a week. And uh, you can hear how this engine runs now with the new carburetor. All right, so we're gonna idle right now. It's about maybe um, 600 RPM. And it holds that extremely well. All these are known for their um, ridiculous uh, engineering. All right, so while the engine's running, um, I took apart, again, the dash here. Now, uh, I'm gonna show you a little something here. Now, on this um, light switch, there's a little tab on the back, on top of it here, that you have to push down in order to get the, um, the switch off. And then that'll allow you to remove the bezel, which I have here in the back of the, the truck here. Keep for safe keeping so it doesn't damage it right here. Air cleans off. Now this radio here is the original radio, so I'm gonna remove that and then leave a hole here for the gauges. Um, the new um, instrument cluster that I uh, purchased on eBay has an 85 mile an hour speedometer. It's basically uh, a um, like a 70, I think 77, 79 version, but it will fit a uh, 76, no problem. Same setup and all. So, and down here are the cables for the uh, levers. Um, first thing I had to do was to remove the um, lug compartment in order to get to the vent assembly. Okay, so here's your levers, your vents. One and two here. This one here was easy to get out. The second one I had to bring down and then get to the uh, screw here because it was under the dashboard. All right, so this here assembly goes here. There we so go. these have to be unscrewed. And to get to the, uh, the vent cover, you're gonna have to uh, remove the gut compartment. And unfortunately, the gut compartment was made of uh, like some kind of a fireball board. And that too crumbled in my hand. So once you get this out, set it to the side, and you can see your fan assembly inside. And right here is where your heater core is housed. Now if you look, you can see some rusting here. And I think maybe the gasket is probably uh, you know, worn away, so I'm gonna have to work on that. So anyways, uh, Went to our rallies this morning, and already they had it picked, uh, delivered within about two hours. So, so the original heater core is actually uh, brass and uh, copper. The new ones they make now are aluminum. So I asked the uh, clerk at the uh, O'Reilly's. He told he told me that he had also replaced his heater core from his truck, and the aluminum one he says do it just as good of a job. It's not better than the um, the copper and brass ones. They give a little bit more heat. So. You can see the uh, gasket material crumbling away. And here is the core 
Oh wow. Pretty corroded. Alright. Gotta try to remove this uh, foam piece without damaging it. There we go. But it's heavy. It's like twice as heavy as the aluminum one there. I clean this up here too. A little bit dull, but uh, it's clean inside and out. This one here is just like a, um, it's like a hand vent. Open it up, close it from underneath the car. So you open up your uh, your passenger side door, and if you want heat toward uh, the uh, passenger, you just uh, you just use your foot, and then close it down with your foot like so. Okay, guys. So give you an idea of what happens to the dashboard or the uh, instrument cluster. As you see, it just crumbled, and as you see, I just took a piece off. Look at that. Okay, so everything just fell apart. The circuitry was all uh, you know corroded. It probably still works, but uh, it's already bent up. The gauges still work. It's just that the housing here it just crumbled. So it's not saveable. So I ordered one on eBay. Should be coming here in a couple of days or next week or so. Okay, so I was able to uh, save the fittings that go on each side of the uh, heater core. That'll fit. Okay, so um, other people have warned me about the uh, new ones. They don't quite fit in the uh, assembly area. If you look at the original one, it's quite sh shorter. Quite shorter. So I'm going to have to make some alterations to the back. Okay guys, so what I did was I took the two rubber pieces, one on each end, and uh, because of the bolts weren't lining up with the holes, what I did was I put, put the double uh, pieces together rubber pieces together and therefore it uh, caused it to shift back to line up the holes it's not all right guys so I got the assembly in and I hooked up the um, levers I'm missing on both for this lever here but I got it hooked up already and uh, it goes with three bolts also guys uh, one more thing to mention is that when you put your um, your heater motor in sorry about that Make sure you guide the wires through. Do not put the wire, do not shove it through there because uh, those sharp, that sharp frame, I cut those wires in half. So just uh, be, be uh, you know, be aware of that one. Um, okay, so now after this is mounted, I'm gonna have to put that the vent right here. All right, guys, we got it wired and mounted. Uh, I don't have the water hoses on yet, but we'll uh, start the uh, electric motor here. There we go. Sounds good. All right. All right, guys. So that's gonna be it for this episode. Uh, wires are hooked up, and I, I don't have the uh, heater uh, hoses up yet, but that's for another day. So we'll end the video here. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you learned something. I sure did. A lot of. Uh, twisting and turning and uh, a few choice words uh, when I drop things. Other than that, guys have an excellent weekend. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. We'll talk to you real soon. Bye for now.